All right, everyone, thank you for coming to my session and to end testing with Playwright. There's not very much time, so I'm just going to jump in. Uh, a little bit about me. I'm Petar Basic. I come from Serbia, and I work for a company based in Vienna, Austria, as a DevOps Drupal engineer. Drunomics is the company. Uh, so I'm not going to talk a lot about the company. I just wanted to mention our main our solutions because of the context in which we execute the tests. So Lupus Digital is kind of an out-of-the-box out solution where we uh, where you could have a decoupled front-end, even multiple front-ends. Uh, when you have then a content pool, uh, Drupal is a content pool in the back-end and a lot more things about there. Also, we have a contributed, uh, uh, recently contributed a Lupus Decoupled Drupal uh, as an easy solution for decoupled Drupal with front-ends uh, front in any other uh, framework. Uh, so at Tronomics, we value our testing process greatly. Uh, it's a vital part of our quality assurance process, and it is greatly integrated in our CI pipelines, uh, which saves uh, a lot of resources when uh, some new feature appears, so you don't have to check for uh, if it broke anything uh, before that was already existing, there are automated tests for that. What we previously used during the years is more traditional framework, Behat, which is actually a great pr uh, framework. It's a PHP framework, so you can just require it with Composer uh, and start using it. And you could uh, interact directly with Drupal API and its step definitions. And it al uh, has already predefined extensions that exist that you have predefined steps which you can use with Drupal. But over the years, we figured there are m a lot of downsides with it. So we uh, figured there's appearance of flaky tests and actually debugging those flaky tests is the experience with it was pretty poor. So we decided to maybe it's time to find something else. Uh, but the main decision, so why we decided to go and search for something else are those flaky tests uh, and the poor debugging experience with them. So in our uh, CI pipelines, in our workflow, you would expect if you uh, develop a new feature, you if if you see the green tests and everybody everything passes, you only test your new feature, and if that's okay, you just merge and move on. That was not the case. It was a common appearance that you would see a just random test failing with the new feature implement and you would normally think that your feature is that uh, introduced it and after a lot of time lost there debugging checking what's going on with your new feature you just figure out it's not your feature it's the behead that just uh, you forgot some explicit to wait to add to wait for some element or something so and actually de that debugging that especially in a ci environment was practically not possible or very hard and time consuming, resource consuming. So there was just a decision to move on and try f something else. In this process of finding something else, uh, we stumbled upon a lot of frameworks, The which when the decision ended with Playwright, I added some related posts where uh, other people had the same uh, processes as we did. There was also Cypress and Codesep, JS, but Playwright actually turned out to solve most of our, well, everything that was missing in Behat and in other frameworks themselves. So I would mention some of the Playwright's main features. Uh, I bolded the ones that actually were the cause that we decided to go with it. So auto wait and auto retry. Auto wait feature would just uh, Playwright will wait for any uh, component to be actionable. So, for example, if you need to press a button, it will wait for until that button can be pressed and then press it. The auto wait, uh, the auto retry feature will uh, try and execute the action multiple times until until all the conditions are met. So, for example, if your CI is a little bit slower and the component doesn't load in the first 10 milliseconds and the test checks if the component is there, 
it's not there. But if you're a user, it will be there in just 11 milliseconds. So it checks a couple of more uh, times and the test actually passes. And for the debugging part, it has tracing mechanism, which will actually record everything that happened during the test execution. So you would have uh, HTML, network, what happened with the network in the console. It will record screenshots. It will, you will even have a video recording, which you can actually see after the tests are executed, which helps immensely when you're debugging the tests. Uh, there are uh, also powerful tools that come with uh, Playwright, integrated with play Playwright. I'm going to mention mostly Inspector, which will serve something like an XX debug will for PHP. You would just run the test in the within Inspector Active and you could just step through your lines in the test and you will see what exactly happens, like if you're doing the test manually. And the trace viewer is a feature that tool that you can use to see those traces. And much more features I listed here, but yeah, no <laughs> not that enough time. So we faced some challenges when moving from Behat to Playwright. The main one being the communication with Drupal API. In the B in Behat, you could just do that straight in the step definition. Uh, and some other minor challenges. So how do you set up the environment? In Behat, you could just do get env and get any environment variable you needed. So, so here, that was not possible. And of course, you don't have any predefined steps, so you have to invent everything. And how do you present those uh, test results on the CI environment, and how do you share it with your team? So how, do we, how did we solve this biggest issue, the communication with Drupal API? We decided to just use Drush. And uh, you, could run, you could make your own custom Drush command, or just execute a Drush PHP eval. And of course, in because Playwright, we use it in its implementation it in Node.js. Node.js has this child process which, which you can just run and execute any command, also Drush command. Uh, the bigger problem was how do you make it happen when you have a Dockerized Playwright and a Dockerized Drupal. So you need to set up a Docker socket in, do in the, the Playwright container, install the Docker CLI in the Playwright container, and then it actually just works. <laughs> but you have to add, append to your child process a command, just execute like you would execute a Docker command in the container name. Uh, I will skip most of these other challenges because they're not that important. They're not that big. So for environment, you just add .env. For writing steps, it's a manual labor. You just need to write them. And read the docs, the documentation on Playwright is really well. And for the CI setup, we decided to publish its uh, HTML report on Cloudflare after each uh, build on a CI, so it actually becomes available to the whole team immediately. And yeah, I wanted to show some code. Well, not code, to execute a couple of tests. So this would be uh, an example. Can you see that? An example of a test file, so it would be equivalent of a feature file in Behat, and each test itself would be like a scenario in Behat. Uh, so these these would be just some simple Drupal-based tests, just testing some if the pages are working or so. And I'll trigger it in the inspector mode, so we can see. Okay, this is. All right, it just opens up, and you can just step through your tests. There's a button, and it goes through the test, and you exactly can see what happens. And this is a normal browser, so you can do open your developer tools in a browser. Come on. Yeah, and you can see the network tab. You can see whatever happens in your uh, with your page when the test is executed which is pretty powerful, I think. I could only dream about this with uh, Behat. 
And I also wanted to show the tracer, how it looks like when a test is actually failing. So it takes a little bit longer because Playwright is auto waiting for stuff that we requested it, but it's not there, so nothing to wait for anymore. So we'll just run the tracer. Tr uh, tr okay, so this is the report it generates. So it's a list of tests. So we only have one test, and it shows it failed. When you enter it, it shows you in, in on the each line where it f uh, the exact line where it failed. It has a screenshot and it has a trace, which is, I think, the most powerful thing. Uh, you see what happened in each millisecond of the execution and how the page looked, how the network tab looked. So you don't e actually need to, don't need to run it like I did with the uh, inspector. You can do this after the test has run. So it has everything. So this is where the test failed. Well, it's this is where what it was executing when it failed. It shows you everything: the console, the network, and what it expected, and what was missing. Uh, so yeah, that's what I wanted to show. Yeah, here you can also use your developer tools and just check the HTML, inspect it, and everything is there. Like you, you just open the page. And yeah, okay. So our experience so far, we just merged it a few weeks ago. It's pretty good experience. Th its performance is comparable with Behat, but there's there are some issues that it takes a long time to build the container when uh, it's running on CI. And then writing the tests, sometimes you forget the await, and each uh, playwright uh, assertion is running uh, asynchronously, so you just need to add a wait before. Uh, yeah, use those playwright assertions because uh, those auto wait and auto retry are only wa available if you use the playwright assertions. Uh, some a tip to use the tags to tag the tests so you could filter out them when you're running them. Uh, there are also uh, hook functions available where you can hook into the pr uh, execution process and prepare the environment and clean up your tests afterwards. So far, we didn't see any flaky tests. It's pretty reliable and stable. And I got some feedback from my colleagues, which are pretty happy. It didn't take them a long time to get used to it. The documentation is great, and they just actually love it. It's I would say it's even more developer friendly because we are the ones who are writing the tests and we are developers. We don't need that groovy in Behat. You just see the code, you know what it's doing. And it's the, the overall experience is positive and the debugging experience is excellent. As we saw, it has some powerful tools uh, which turned out to be very, very helpful. Uh, yeah, I made actually a small Playwright Drupal starter uh, repo. Uh, the presentation is available on the Drunomics.com uh, website on the blog post, so you can download it. And there's a link to the public repo. It's I didn't really test it, but if it's needed, you, there's I left the issue. <laughs> no, I didn't test the starter repo. <laughs> it works in our projects, but I didn't want to post the whole project. Of course, I can. Uh, so. I left the issue on the GitHub op issue tab open, so you can post an issue or contact me directly if there's any help needed. On the blog. The blog. Yeah, on the Drupal.com site, I said. Uh, some resources, and yeah, some DrupalCon stuff. That's it. Questions? Uh, yeah, two questions maybe. I just want to ask how long have you been using this Playwright? And did you consider any other tools like PHP Unit or Cypress or... So yeah, yeah we whatever. for this kind of testing, uh, we tried using Cypress, for example, uh, but 
uh, that's why I mentioned that uh, the kind of the uh, projects we are developing, so they're decoupled and they're running on different origins. So Cyprus, I couldn't get it to work to, uh, to switch in the same test between two different origins. It just didn't allow me that. Plus, it was really hard to get it uh, execute any commands outside of uh, that, so I couldn't get it to run Drush uh, easily, at least. So that's why we went with Playwright. Oh, how long? Oh, <laughs> I think six months now, but it was on and off. Of course, I had other stuff to do. I wasn't solely on this. Uh, so, yeah. But it took me really not that much time to get used to it. Uh, as I said, documentation is wonderful. So, will you be able to extend this suite to add any non-functional tests? Excuse me? Will you be able to extend the suite to add any non-functional tests like security, performance, accessibility using Playwright? Yeah, yeah, you would be able to. Yeah, thanks uh, for the presentation. Very nice. Uh, you mentioned the, the challenge of, of the initial setup and you needed to create a socket to make the different containers to talk uh, between each other. So apart from that, is there any anything else that you need to do, uh, for example, within the Drupal application, or is just enough to, to create this bridge between the, the containers? So yeah, that's it just enough to create this bridge between containers. It's a solely a Docker setup. It's actually in the starter project. I can show it right now if needed. Uh, it's so you would just create a volume. Oh, where is it? This one. So volume to the Docker socket uh, in the con in the Playwright container, and you would in the Playwright container install the uh, package. Uh, where is it? Docker C C L I, and you could just execute Docker commands in the Playwright container, and it will automatically search actually find the container outside of it. The, the container where the uh, your Drupal is running. And there's nothing else needed. Nice. Oh, Tears yeah. Nice. So this line was needed as well to uh, change the uh, permissions for the Docker socket in the container. But it's included in the starter, starter repo, so you can find it there. Uh, how much uh, space do the reports take up and how long do you keep them? So on CI, we uh, keep them for that build only. They get deleted afterwards if you don't need them, of course. Uh, they don't take a lot. Uh, you mentioned video, which is why I... No, yeah, yeah, th those take some, uh, but there is a setting where you could tell them, okay, retain videos only if it's something fails and only for that test. So the videos will, it will just be a one small video in that case. Uh, but we disable, disable it overall because it's not very useful. Uh, and it takes a lot of, more, it takes more time for the test to execute if you're recording video. And of course it takes uh, space, but I didn't check how much space they take. Hi, thanks for presentation. Um, I have just some experience with Behat and Behave, but uh, the Gherkin that they have, so aligned with Cucumber idea, uh, is something that uh, is, I would say, must have for us. So that is yeah. uh, documentation for business people, how S feature works. So I'm wondering, yeah, yeah, what what uh, Playwright can offer? In it that can direction. offer. You could integrate Cucumber with it. Uh, you could use Gherkin and you would just do pretty much the same thing with Behat as with, uh, with Behat. So have sim uh, the same syntax and have the playwright in the background uh, like the here. But uh, we decided not to use it because we don't actually need it. Uh, and it was easier for us this way. So, But yeah, you can use it. I didn't include it because I thought it would 20 minutes would be enough, but it's not. Uh, what's your test testing strategy? Uh, what do you test with Playwright and what you don't? Oh, almost everything we can test that 
could be tested and seen. Uh, the most important tests, I would say, are the caching tests, where we actually do some changes in the content and we change how uh, what is invalidated, what caching is invalidated, what is not. Uh, then we do some just basic uh, front-end uh, tests, if the buttons are working, if the, uh, the API is working, so if you press the button, if everything gets executed. We uh, everything mostly you could do with it. Mm, some stuff we don't test is like what we do actually execute with Drupal APIs. If you need to create a node, we don't go through the whole process of adding the node uh, in the test. We just have a function in the uh, uh, drush command actually now, which just clones some node that already exists, and we just have a new node and test cache uh, invalidation with it. Yeah. I'm really, really sorry, but uh, this was a 20-minute session, and we need another put another one in. We can continue. So, outside. yeah, thank you very much.